Hello and welcome to another Rectacular video. My name is Mr. Riculous and this is Ridiculous Riculous Survival. So, since the last episode, I have done a lot, but first, let's act, or not first, let's actually go explore the a lot. So, obviously, my sorting system has completely changed. So, basically, my sorting and ore processing has changed because I'm using Ender IO conduits because they're more compact and a bit easier to use and cooler than, um, than the uh, mechanism conduit. Secondly, I've got Tesseract going, I've got a digital miner running way over there, mining me all the materials I need, and I've expand. Oh, we'll ignore that. I've expanded, uh, we'll ignore that. Don't don't worry about that thing on the minimap, we'll get to that. Anyway, I've expanded our windmills, our windmill farm, to give us a whole bunch more energy. As you can see, it's taking up the entire chunk, and it's not all full of windmills, but we've got a lot of windmills here, as you can see. These are running at optimum levels. They're all producing 160 RF per tick. This one isn't just this one isn't showing it, but they produce 160 RF per tick. They're massively filling this energy cube. It's just amazing. This ultimate energy cube, which holds 51 or 52 point like one or 52 million RF, I think is what it is. And um, geez, it is wow, it is good. And I've got my tesseract running, and I've got this chunk always loaded. So yeah. And we're using ultimate energy, ultimate universal cables because of uh, the mass amount of power. And even then, we're tr those cables can transfer up to 12,000 RF per tick, and we're generating over 7,000 RF per tick with that windmill farm. So that is great. But we're definitely going to get to bigger power. Now, so we've got this ore process, and we've got a bunch of steel. We've got all these. And I turned off auto sort so that these will... Eh, it's just... It's cooler to see all the different types of ore smelting at once. And um, so, yeah. Lots of machines, automatic, almost automatic steel processing. Basically, all I have to do is fill it with the compressed carbon and put iron in here, and then boom, it'll go right out. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I've made a few more dimensional transceivers. I've got just a bunch, bunch of stuff here. So much. It's actually amazing. And um, the final thing I have to show off, I've gone to the nether. I've explained that. I set up this vacuum chest over here, vacuuming up the apples that that drops my sugarcane farms going and then I guess the final thing to show off is the completed platform and the completed build of the R Star Incorporated headquarters UNR tower it's glorious it's uh, very much modeled after my whole thing this whole thing is modeled very much after Strife Solutions the series by William Strife just because he has a good series model and he has a very good build he's got a very good build of course mine is a bigger tower his is a 60 his is a 53 by 53 platform or 55 by 55 this is a 63 by 63 and this tower is even bigger than his not that it's a contest but it is slightly bigger than his so that's you know something and i'm using a different door i have these player sensors and then i've got i'm using uh skystone's mall bricks which i went up with the digital miner and dug up a bunch of uh meteors and then i made skystone small bricks and marble bricks from chisel and then I've got Carpenter's Wedge Slopes here, covers for the energy, then this player sensor activates these drawbridges which send out the door. And then as you see in here, we've got a nice little setup. We've got a bunch of enlightened fused quartz, some refined, refined glowstone, that area which we'll get to this episode. And then player sensors on all these Carpenter's Garage doors to separate these areas. And then the upper levels actually aren't very well lit. Oh, that's a bit of lag. These area, upper areas actually aren't that well lit. Um, mobs will spawn in here, which is why I'm going to... Uh, I'm eventually going to get a magnum torch, but I'll get to that eventually. That'll probably be next episode. This episode... Here, I'll just show off the tower a bit more. Yep. Nice and cool. There we go. And I've already wired, as you can see, I've already wired up some uh, cabling down through so I can get energy to all this stuff. And I believe, did I wire it through? I might have actually forgotten to wire it through this layer. Yeah, I forgot to wire it through here. That's no big deal. Right now, all we're doing, I'll wire it up between episodes. I've got a bunch of Ultimate Universal Cable, but what I'm going to do this episode is we're going to be focusing on power generation and nothing... Oh, I didn't finish up these factory block things. That's okay. I've got plenty of factory blocks, and I can do that circuitry later. Right now, what I'm looking to do is set up a nuclear reactor at R Star Incorporated HQ. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a very large nuclear reactor. It's going to be, I believe, 9 by 9 by 12. <sighs> Just had to take a drink. Anyway, it's going to be a very large reactor. So, we have, 
we're going to need 475 reactor casings, 70 reactor glass, 225 fuel rods, 25 control rods, one reactor controller, four power taps, two access ports, a bunch of destabilized redstone, and then a capacitor bank, which will be storing the power. So, um, yeah. Let's get to, what is this up and out? All right, that was my building. Anyway, so let's go start in on the crafting for this episode. Now it is, it's not the fastest door, but it's really easily concealable and it's pretty cool. I like it. And it doesn't require too much redstone. All right, so that'll keep ticking and processing away. So let's get the reactor casings done. So for this, I'm gonna need a bunch of graphite, a bunch of yellow, right? And a bunch of steel, which I already made up. So I'm gonna dump out half the yellow, right? Half of this for now and get the steel and get the remaining graphite uh casings boom that's four stacks and i you know do a quick calculation here 475 reactor casings uh so calculator 475 over 64 so i'm gonna need seven and a half stacks of reactor casings and i have four now so let's make another um Let's do, let's see, one, two, three, that should be as many reactor cases we're going to need, seven and a half stacks, that should be, yep. Now we're going to, so let's see, how much is that, 64, clear, 64 times 7 plus 32. That's 480, so that's more than what we actually need, so that's good. So now we'll cross off the reactor casings. Now we need 70 reactor glass, and this is gonna need a, probably more glass than I have, but that's okay, because I have, I can do, crush up this sandstone. Oh crap, I don't know what that is enriching into. Gravel and that's smelting up. Let's turn off auto eject, and let's take out that sand. Uh, auto sort, that's what I want. Sand, sand, sandstone. So we'll take the sand, put it in there. Boom, boom. And grab the last of this. Boom. There we go. Turn auto sort back off. Auto eject back on. This is fine, and this one we'll just turn off auto sort later. Anyway, let's grab up all the glass I'm going to need, which it's going to be right around, oh, just over, probably like that should be enough. Let's see, reactor glass, there's a stack of it. And I'm actually using some of these casings, obviously, for the glass, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, that's all the reactor glass I'm going to need. So let's cross, if I did my calculations right, cross that off now, 225 fuel rods. Good God, this is going to be a very big reactor. Hence the name of the mod, of course. Um, so let's grab more graphite, maybe more fuel rod. I think I need more steel, don't I? These fuel rods, yeah, I need more steel. I'm actually low on steel. I didn't calculate exact, I didn't calculate. My calculations weren't perfect on the steel, but that's okay. What we can do, start tossing that in, and that'll just tick away on steel production. So that's good. Let's turn auto. So we'll leave it on. We'll just leave auto sword on for now. And let's make some fuel rods. That is 12 of the. How many fuel rods do I need? 225 fuel rods. That is not pleasant. Am I sure I'm out of steel? I swore I did my calculations better than that. Hmm. I guess I only made enough steel for the uh, actual casings and not for everything else that I need. So I'm actually going to take out this stack of iron ingots. For now just because I'll process that up later and wait for this I'll be back when this when I'm done with the steel all right and I'm back and it has been hours now waiting on this and actually I had a few crashes in between so there's that as well but finally the steel is almost done processing so I'm just gonna grab up all this steel the rest of this graphite and start making oh i was looking into jabba but 
whatever, or Jabba, whatever. And let's get fuel rods. So 64 plus 64 is 128. Then I need more. Um, actually, how many stacks am I going to need again? 225. 225 over 64 equals three and a half stacks. So what am I missing there? Am I still missing steel? I could have sworn I processed way more steel than that. Way more than enough steel. Mm, this is quite disturbing. Mm. Still not quite enough steel, huh? Well, hmm, whatever. We'll get another stack of steel processing, and while that's going, we'll uh, start in on the next bit. So for now, since 225 is just over three and a half stacks, and I have three and two, I'm almost done with fuel rods. So I'm going to cross off fuel rods. Oh, I'll leave it for now. Eh, I'll exit so I can come back to it. Now, 25 control rods. These control rods are reactor casings, graphite, redstone, and eulorium. So let me grab some redstone. And I need 25 of these, so I'm going to need a bunch more redstone. Luckily, redstone I am in no short supply of. Neither iron. Iron, I can just process steel for days because I've got a bunch of iron. I actually ran myself out of coal quicker with all the graphite I needed. Anyway, control rods. Right. Here we go. Control rods. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need 25. There we go. Boom, boom. So control rods done. Now a reactor controller, which I'm going to need a diamond. Demon. Reactor controller. That's all done and out of the way. Now I need power taps. Power taps are casings and redstone. Boom. One, two, three, four. I believe I only put four down. Let's see. Four, yep. And now I need access ports, which are going to require a bit more crafting. I need some cobblestone. I need a little bit of wood. And I need some uh, iron. And then I need redstone, which uh, I think I'll get a little bit more redstone. Just because, you know, it's never too bad to have redstone on you. So redstone. Now I need pistons. I'm going to need two access ports, so one, two. And I'm going to need some chests as well, which I could just as easily make. Even more easily make, actually. So access port, one, two. Dump that back into our really awesome sorting system. Thank you, Ender.io. So let's get access ports done. Now I need destabilized redstone. And this stuff, where is my magma crucible? Fluid transposer, magma crucible, here we go. And I need to, mm, what can I pick up? I'll just pick up the slice and splice for now. I'm not using it. And there we go. So I'm going to go toss a drum. I'm going to make a quick drum and toss it on top of there. One, two, there we go, boom, boom, one, boom. I'm glad that this recipe no longer requires steel, because that's a lot easier. Anywho, boom. There we go. Now let's, grab, let's clear that, just because that's annoying. And let's grab a stack of redstone blocks. And get destabilized redstone cooking up. Now, I don't remember how much each block will make. I'll check here real quick when it pops up. Made 900 millibuckets. So, not even a full bucket from a block. Jeez, that's still, that's going to take a bit, but that's fine. And now I need to craft a capacitor bank. This isn't from big reactors, and it's not necessarily for the reactor, but it's for power storage, which is always good. It is a multi block. Um, multi-block energy cube basically but it's cheaper because it only costs some double layer capacitors some electrical steel and a block of redstone and each one holds five million and then they stack together so you have four of those and that's 20 million so you can just get these huge things and they can charge items as well so yeah it's really useful 
So let's grab... I don't know. I'm not actually going to need half a stack of these. Where's my alloy smelter? You smelted up a bunch of those energetic alloys because you're a boss. And electrical steel? Not too big of a trouble for me. Do I have a bunch of silicon? Um, iron. I have some iron, but let me grab a few more blocks of iron. And boom. And then coal. Coal. I don't actually seem to have any coal. I believe that's due to the fact that I used a bunch of it already. Still, no big deal. Because what I can do... Uh, I put my jetpack... Took that off to charge. Oops. Let me just... Bloop. Anyway. A <laughs> little bit of a snake there. It's been a, it's been a while. I'm winding down for my day. And I've already gotten this mining up coal, so if I just click start, it's going to silk up some coal. And thanks to my windmill fix, um, this is not going to run low on power, even though it's running with six speed upgrades and silk touch mode. It's using almost 3,000 RF per tick, and the base stuff is running, but still not even caring. So I'll just, I'll just let that dig up a bunch of coal. I don't even care. I can dig up all of it. I don't have to worry about power right now with my windmills and once I move into the base I'm not gonna have to worry about it because I have reactor power so let's grab this and then we'll send it through the enrichment chamber with auto eject off so that it doesn't go in there and make more graphite bars auto sort on and that was some lag now let's dump boom 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 let's just dump all our reactor stuff in there for now just that could be our reactor chest for a minute and then what we can do is auto sort on, crush up the dust that we're going to need to put in here. So let's get 26, that's way more than what we need. There we go. And that will tick away on that. So do I have any electrical steel? on deck for use. Nope. But that's fine. I'll just wait for this to smelt up three out of the four I need. I'll wait for it to smelt up four. I'll show you the crafting of one capacitor and then I'll or of one capacitor bank and then I'll just, you know, go through and make the rest. So let's craft our whoop, I don't need to know how to craft a block of redstone. Basic capacitors. Um 24 will be plenty for now. And then 12 of those, so we'll be able to make actually only going to be able to make three capacitor banks right now. So this is an RF powered block. As you can see, it has a max output of 5,000 at its base level, 5,000 input, and it's already set to always active. You can configure it just like the Ender IO machines, and it can hold up to 5 million RF. And it can charge your RF powered items. So if I go and like toss this right there, it'll charge. It would charge if it weren't full, and you know this had power in it. So that's good. And the more you add, not only is it the more power it gets, but the more power output it has as a maximum. And this 5,000 RF per tick max output is already higher than, or it's just about equal to this Elite Energy Cube. And if you remember, this Elite Energy Cube is not cheap. Mm. Is my keybinds messed up? Uh, numlock, maybe. That's it. Numlock was turned off. Anyway, this was super expensive with these reinforced alloys. And then, if you check, you know, it also needed gold and advanced energy, the energy tablets, and then this, just so much crafting, so much, you know, wasted stuff. Whereas this, this is really, really cheap. You saw how cheap and easy that was. And what's more, we can make a bunch of those. So let's grab, eh, 20 will be fine. Boom, make three more, and I'll just show this off real quick. Um, that one's already been placed, so it's considered to be configured. Now if we place this, it also has a nice multi-blocking texture, or tiling texture. See, 15,000 RF and 15 million total RF storage. So yeah, this will get really, really good. So that's cool. That's really cool. We're going to be utilizing that a ton, just a ton. So let's... Boom, 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 
Make a bunch more of those. A bunch more of these. And two more of those. Which we're going to have to place. And there you see even more. 25,000 25, or 25,000 and 25 million. So this just gets, these can get insane for how cheap they are. So that's really, really good. Um, why wasn't I able to craft another double layer exactly? Why didn't it? Oh, because I need two. And for that I need more gold nuggets. Not that I have any shortage of gold. And in fact, I'll just grab these nuggets right here. I'm just going to make this a complete little craft one more capacitor bank. Boom. 30 million, 30,000 total. It's just, it's a great thing. I love these. So this will be really useful for the big reactor. So capacitor bank checked off the list. Now these fuel rods, we were waiting for steel to process, I believe. So the steel should be processed by now. Where is my steel? Um, why are you? Huh. That's okay. Because look, we got just a bunch. And I mean a literal, just a bunch of coal. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in to, to, you know, to get going. Let's actually turn off auto sort. Anyway, we're going to get this going. And then we're going to put these back in the enricher chamber. And even then I'll just do real quick. Get this out of here real quick so I can just toss these in real quick. Boom. And we'll get that vent going. So the steel did not process as much as I would have wished it to, but what am I going to do about it? Not much. That's really what it comes down to. I can't do much about it. But, um, yeah, waiting on that steel to make the final bits of fuel rods. But now I have so much of this already ready to go that I'm going to go get started on putting together the reactor. And then from there, when I come back, it should be ready to go to the point where I can just come and craft the rest of our reactor stuff. So let's get going. I don't need that redstone. Let's grab casings and let's grab fuel rods. And also we're going to need, or not need, but it's going to be really useful to use our builder's wand. I don't know if, um, so yeah, I built this and I used the builder's wand to help me out with building it faster. And I never brought, brought it up, but I, because I just haven't brought it up yet. I didn't, I found this out in a, um, in a little thing. I went way out looking for those meteors. And it's not the badass slime island. One of these, there was a structure, there was a little dungeon-y thing under the trees somewhere. I think maybe that's it. I really don't know for sure. I don't, I don't know if that's it or not. But I know I found a, another one of those zombie spawner looking things out. That I, The same one kind of that I found over, uh, that was weird. My slope just seemed kind of weird to me. Anyway, the zombie spawner I have over there. Um, I found a little dungeon like that and it had the builder's wand in it. So that was really cool. Anywho, uh, this building is a bit laggy due to the fact of all the carpenter's stuff. Anywho, so let's get this out of the way and start building our reactor. Builder's wand, super helpful at this juncture. Now we're just going to Um, right there, I think, is how far I need to go. It's going to need, this is going to access the top layer, so I think maybe there. Hopefully I made enough casings. I believe I should have. My math should be perfectly sound in that regard. But, how did I not make enough? How am I falling short in literally everything right now? Um, I did do the math. I'm not an idiot. Maybe... Well, maybe I am. 475 reactor casings, which according to this, if I pull out my handy-dandy calculator, 475 over 64 equals 
seven and a half stacks, and I had seven and a half stacks, and I accounted for the fact that I was going to need some of them in the making of the other stuff. Oi. Let's just get steel processing going. I'm not dealing with rain right now. I'm too annoyed to deal with rain. Alright, that's processed away some steel. Add it, get more processing, because you can never have too much steel processing at once. And there should be steel in here. Yep, steel. So let's get those fuel rods. How many fuel rods do I even need left now? Like, think 30, 30 left, 30 to craft. So let's boom, boom, boom. Probably still don't have enough steel just due to the stupidity of, I don't know how I'm managing to not have anywhere near enough steel for this. I'll be back one more time and get the steel I need. Okay, if this isn't enough steel, then I'm just done. Way more than enough. Perfect. At least for this. There, that should be all I need, although my miscounting earlier doesn't bode well for me. Now let's get some more casings, which means uh, I can just do it from here. Boom. 42 times 4. There we go. This should be all I need. So first, let's... Boom. I'm going to have to get rid of that scaffolding in a bit. Alright. There we go. Now let's start putting in... Controller in the center power tap here and here, and then I'm going to put some on the top. I think you can put them on the top of the reactor, so I'll try to do that. Then access port, which this one will be an inlet, this one will be an outlet, and then we're going to need fuel rods, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a checkerboard pattern with a ring around the outside, because that's how to decrease your fuel burn up. And now, there we go. That is a really weird way that the builder's wand decided to do that, but whatever. Um, it'll work. Oh, too many. Alright, so right here. Can I just, no, I can't builder's wand that. Did I make too many fuel rods this time? Probably. Probably too many fuel rods. Um, way too many fuel rods. But that's okay. I'm gonna. I plan on making two more reactors later because I love these things. So you know, <laughs> I plan on filling this entire. All of these walls will be reactors at some point. <laughs> now let's get the control rods on top, which I assume I made too many of this time. Yep, probably doubled the amount I need-ish. Yep, just about doubled the amount I need, but again, I don't really care. I'm fine with having extra, and I'm going to need react casing. Boom, 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 boom. Power tap there, power tap there, then casing here. Here, 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 here. Um, really wish Morph was in this pack. That's one That's one thing. I was playing the Direwolf 20 pack for a while, and I was playing on a server, and we'll just make the point that I got kicked, and we'll not, and we'll not go into the details of that. But, um, yeah, and I do miss Morph. I was playing the Direwolf 20, and Morph was a very... Uh, it's, a, it's a good mod. I like it. Oh, God. Damn it. Where'd that fall? There it is. Boy, working in this area, I did not carve this out perfectly. 
to say the very least. I'm actually gonna beautify this in the end, I'm sure, but for now I'll just... Ow, what the fuck? Sometimes I get block lag as though I'm on a server, which I'm not. If I were, that'd make it easier to have done a time lapse. I would have done a time lapse build of the tower instead of. I was planning on filming just some of me building it, but from first person. But that was really not a good idea. I came to find. I later found out that was not a good idea. It didn't work out very well. That should be all the entities out of there. I don't like having entities sitting around in my reactor unless it's flowing, uh, or the freaking coolant. Coolant's the only thing I allow. No entities. There we go, and I'll just torch it, torch it, torch it, torch it. And I'll actually try to, uh, cover this up. I'll put in more factory blocks later. And now that that's built, ah, such a nice reactor. Let's get some glass, fill in there, there. And we're not gonna fill in the whole thing because obviously I have to add that uh, destabilized redstone, which I'm not entirely why I didn't bring it with me because I have all the destabilized redstone I need right now. That'll tile because it's complete, but I'm gonna need to break it so that I can deal in here and get my coolant in so let's go grab that up I like to use hover mode to lessen the blow on my uh, lessen the energy used by my um, by my freaking free runners of course it doesn't really need to happen plus it's it looks cool i think i think it looks cool so i do it just if you're wondering why i always switch or why i switch to hover mode it's just a weird thing i do uh too much what is that oh dear it mined up all the coal i forgot about that um well no big deal i'm not gonna have a shortage of coal anytime soon that's good i guess it's definitely gonna be easy to get the graphite and Carbon for the other, the next reactor for the steel and that. That sound pack though. If you can hear the creeper, I don't know if you can hear the creeper. Um, let me just, you know what? I'll just take this right. Let me in. Let me. Let me. Thank you. I'll put this in. Right. Not there. How about? right here. So I'm going to need to put one right there. One right there. Bucket here. Bucket there. Bucket there, but it's going to flow out. So what I actually need to do is this. One reactor glass right there. That'll do it. Boom, so that that doesn't flow out of the reactor. Sit here and drown myself for a second. Uh, this was not. This was a mistake. Hold on, I'm gonna go fill in the go the smarter way. Fill in the back before the front, so that I'm not sitting. It may take a little longer as far as flying around, but at the same time, it's gonna be easier to. Maneuver, um, except destabilized redstone. All the melted, all the, I swear, everything other than water that uses a coolant always acts weird. I hate thermal expansion fluids, honestly, because like gelid cryoethem doesn't flow like a normal fluid. It drops, the whole fluid will drop, so you have to put bucket after bucket after bucket in here. Um, so like if I already, I can't use gelid cryoethem in this reactor due to the fact, even though that's what's on the thumbnail for these videos. <laughs> Um, the gelid cryotheum, I can't use it because of how much I would need to fill because it'd just have to fall and fall and fall 
it'd have to take up every individual block space. So that's way too much. Resident Ender, which is even better than freaking Jello Cryoethem, is the best for cooling your reactor. Next is Resident Ender, which is good, but it teleports you, so putting it in is a total bitch. Then you've got your next choice would be Destabilized Redstone, which again flows all awkwardly. And then you've got Water, which is shit. And I think you have a few other, maybe the Destabilized Glowstone or whatever it's called. I think you can use that as a coolant, but I'm not entirely certain of that. Is it Molten Glowstone? I don't know. I don't remember all the coolants you can use. And then I think you can, can you use Block Coolant, or is that only for the Turbine? Well, it's been so long since I've tooled around with big reactors majorly. Um, let's toss one. I guess I can just toss it right there. And then the last one two one right here and one right where my face is and now i'm just gonna fall neatly into my little hot up place take that up we should still have a bunch and there we go now we have a working reactor now i'm gonna need to fill this thing with fuel so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go grab up just a bunch of Yellorium, and I'm gonna grab maybe two diamond chests, or I, I have a spare in my in my electric chest. I have a diamond chest and an iron chest, so I'll probably use those. And then I'll use the, do I have mechanical pipes? Uh, I have base, or I need item pipes. I'll just use item conduits. That'll probably be the best because they're ender IO and they work well. So let's dump this, 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 this. this. Anyway, um, this, 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 this. Still gonna need the capacitor bank sitting around. Boom, boom, boom. And I think that's all I'm gonna need. So let's go. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna need to make a cyanite reprocessor at some point, but that'll come probably in the next video. I'll have a cyanite reprocessor. So let's grab. Iron chest for the cyanite, diamond chest for the fuel, because you always want more fuel than waste. Diamond chest, iron chest, boom, boom. Hopefully this works smart. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work as smart as I'd like it to. So basically, let's get the south connection as an insert, the down direction as an extract, always active, the down direction as an extract, always active, and the south direction insert. No, this is gonna need to be the opposite, the extract, always active, and down needs to be insert. There we go. Next, we need to put in a bunch of this fuel, and then we'll start pumping out, and then I'm probably gonna need to mine more yellow right with the digital miner, but that's fine. We'll see how much this fills up. It might take, honestly, considering the amount of fuel rods we have, it might take all of this no problem and just eat it all. Um, let's see, we've got like four more stacks. And we'll see how many stacks we have at 50%. Nah, we'll be good. We'll be fine. That's really no big deal, actually. Yeah, this will fill up fine. We'll see how many leftover Yellorium we have, though. That's the real big question. So let's see, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100% full. And we're going to have a stack leftover sitting in this. And then some in the chest. How much in the chest? That's actually pretty good. And now I'll just... Oh, let's see, I should have some wires with me. Boom. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the capacitor bank up there, open the energy cables, which can't actually transfer as much as this is going to put out, but it'll transfer enough. So we're going to need to do like so. And then we're going to need to, we'll just have our capacitor bank basically, eventually we'll have it lining this whole outline, but for, we'll have it outline the re reactor, but for now, 
top of the React, that is. And we'll configure the I.O. Actually, we can do it from right here. We can just, this will be a push. And, hmm, no, we'll do this as a push, this a pull. No, smarter idea. This is a pull. This is a push. Get rid of that cable. Fill in the cobble where we don't need it. Or where we, yeah. Then boom, boom. And then boom, boom. And then we don't really need that extra, extra one, but we might set up, we'll just set it up to pump into the capacitor bank over here just to make it look nice when it all wraps around. This will be doing a lot of power storage for us. And now we'll get this up and running. And this can store a million RF in it already, so it's pretty good. So, auto eject waste, activate. And it's gonna heat up really fast. And as you can see, tons of RF being generated right now. We'll see exactly how much in a bit, but um, this should actually be generating a whole lot more. Hmm, what did I do wrong with this reactor? How big is it? It's a nine by nine. It should be generating way more than this. Are my control lines, or control rods out of whack or something? Are they inserted at all? They shouldn't be default inserted. 0% insertion, zero, zero. Hmm. This reactor normally generates more power. Unless maybe Bevo, maybe in the Bevo tech pack it's limited. But even so, 27,000 RF per tick, that's a lot. And what's more, we're going to have four eventually, which is why I'm not too worried about. I have that fancy pattern that I was going to put all over, but after it's not going to be as big a deal when we get into it. So yeah, boom, we've got a reactor. Awesome. And as you can see, our capacitor bank might even be filled up. Uh, it's filling up pretty fast. It has an input of 40, max input of 40,000 and a max output of 40,000. So this can take way more than the reactor can dish out, and it can dish out more than the reactor can dish. So when we have all four and wrapping this, we'll wrap all the reactors with and with these uh, capacitor banks, like, you know, this whole outline will be wrapped. It, it's going to be really cool, trust me. And now, nothing should be able to ever spawn on top of reactor blocks, I don't think. Um, F7. Yeah, stuff can't spawn on top of reactor blocks, so I don't really need the torches, but I'll just put them there for aesthetics. Or more, just because it's lit up. And now we can even show, boom, charged it instantly. I know there wasn't that much charge taken out, but even then, it still charges pretty fast. And what's more, it only uses about one millibucket per tick, which is actually really high. Hmm. We're going to have to change our, we'll probably have to change our, um, we're eventually going to have to make the move to Jellic Cryoethem for our, uh, just because of the amount of fuel this uses. But even then, that's still a really good reactor. It's pumping out cyanite, which will reprocess into plutonium to put back in. And, um, yeah, we're going to have three more here. So that's this episode. And as you can see, power, if I check, um, uh, maybe right here. Power is a flowing. We're going to have lots of power in this base, and it's going to be awesome. And we'll, next episode, we're going to make the move into this base with all our stuff. And um, the windmills will still actually be chunk loaded because they're still going to be useful for us. Because what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to dedicate the windmills entirely for the digital miner. So it'll actually be on a separate power signal than any other Tesseract. Because I'm going to start setting up quarries to run at the same time as digital miners, because massive mining, man. Massive mining. It's going to be great. So I'm just going to go configure this real quick to mine up some uh, more yellowite and uranium to process. And then once this thing finishes processing all the yellowite and uranium, in our base, we'll probably, I'll be moving out, and actually, I'm just going to have it mine up all the ores that it's currently set to mine, yeah, that's fine, St uh, no, stop, reset, silk touch off, and where is the, this, get out of here, I don't need any more coal right now, 
So we'll start her up, and it'll just go, and we'll come back in for some more processing. There we go. Anyway, so, yep, this has been another episode of Ridiculous Riculous Survival. My name is Mr. Riculous. I'm probably going to go to bed soon because, oi, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh... See you in the next episode, where we'll probably be we'll be moving into the big place over there, and um, yeah, that's gonna be a hassle and a half. So thanks for watching.